I think the beauty of the play and the way Laurel has fashioned the story is that we all have dreams. Most of the time, we're going to be disappointed. But we have to always go back to the core of what it is that brings us peace and happiness and allows us to be who we really are. Jerry's dreaming was 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 a, a positive thing. I mean, you know, fate is what it is. And, and I think there's something to be said for those people that are able to, to dream and to dream big. I see Jerry's life as, as tremendously successful. This is a person who who lived uh, completely on her own terms, and she, you know, she left um, the country after her uh, after her defeat, I guess we would say, and not being able to go to space. And then she went and spent the rest of her life in the Amazon, uh, working with tribes and kind of flying uh, in this total freedom that she found. So I think her her imagination helped her to. Uh, have a certain resilience and to envision this whole other uh, life for herself after the, the traditional path was cut down. The, the notion of a, even a human in space, was uh, that hadn't happened in Yuri Bagheera, had not happened. Uh, certainly uh, a woman in space was a, a new and novel idea of which, uh, and a struggle. Uh, and it, I think it, it represented, was more of a barrier while I think that we've obviously come a fair distance since the early 1960s in terms of quality in the workplace, I think that it's you don't have to look that closely to see that we're still struggling and up against some of the same themes and dynamics. There is still an enormous amount of work still to be done. I think pay inequality is sort of the most obvious at this point, and the fact that there that people are paying different rates based on gender is absurd. There are tons of statistics about inequality in STEM, but across the board, women are not paid the same. And the role of women in top executive positions and the role of women scientists is just not commensurate. Or just the ratio between men and women is, is embarrassing at this point. And I think in the 60s, there was just less conversation about it. I think now it's just, there's more conversation, but I think there's a danger also in young people thinking the problem is over. And I think that's very scary and very important why this play has been done and why we're inviting young girls uh, to come and, and hear the story.